on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are, here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Hey, milestone number 5,628. No, um, milestone, I just hit 1,500 subscribers. Yay! On YouTube. I'm really excited about that. It took me two years to get the first thousand, and here it is, less than four months into, well, four four months into the, the second year and I'm already at the next half halfway point which is good so I'm excited about that I'm also um, looking forward to doing a few more uh, videos for you guys I also am going to come up uh, and do a live feed probably uh, today's Sunday so I'll probably do a live feed on Tuesday Monday or Tuesday and I plan on trying to do a giveaway on that that occasion because I've reached the milestone of 1,500 subscribers. Thank you very much again. Again, click like, click subscribe, and so on and so on and so forth. Uh, one of the things that I've been doing lately, I just did them and put them on my face, uh, not my Facebook page, but my um, Instagram page. I've been doing many, uh, or I guess they call them Pee Wee Marbles, and some of them have UV quality, and I will. Um, uh, supplement a video on the marbles that I have been doing and do some pictures of them. Actually look those up on, on my uh, Melting Memories page and also under Lucian Libby in uh, Facebook I'm, and Instagram. There's Like I say, there's one picture of, of my Pee Wee marbles on Instagram uh, showing with UV light and without UV light, which I'm really excited about. Now, without further ado, I'm going to, uh, this one needs a little bit of work to it, and it just needs a fire polishing here and stuff, and I'm going to let that one go, and I'm going to go and do, I have had a request to do a cross um, as one of the things, and uh, folded hands, to, uh, or praying hands, but I, I, I'm not going to do the praying hands, but I will do the cross, um, and I'll do it two different ways, which would be pretty cool, I think. Um, I'm not sure if I've done it before, but always better to do it in high def. And even though this is cold, the size that it is, you can get away with doing a lot more um, things that you couldn't do with the bigger things without stressing out and cracking and breaking and exploding and all that sort of stuff, which is pretty cool. And this is Boro that I'm making this miniature marble out of. And when you're making marbles in, in general, big or small, the best thing I can tell you to do is always just heat up uh, two-thirds, not the whole marble when you're melting. That way you're, where you have your punte at will still stay, still stay strong. Oops. That hole that I tried to put it in isn't big enough. So I just got to do this by hand and get it as round as possible and one thing you can do is tilt it this way and it becomes more of a teardrop and you tilt it this way and it becomes more compact and I think for the size and shape and everything that will about do it just a little tiny marble I like where they're going. Uh, I also have, uh, you probably can't see it, but it's got in there, um, you might see a glitter or two. It's got uh, blue stardust in it. Oops. Now the fire polish where I had that edge. And that one's ready to go. Now the, a cross. One of the ways that I'm going to show you to do this cross is fairly simple. Well, yes and no. This is one way of doing it, and you have to use a pair of scissors, and the type I use are just regular stainless steel surgical cutting, you know, something that you'd use for a medical kit, little tiny ones, and I don't, ha I don't, in other words, I don't uh, have a lot of the big, expensive, high end, sometimes I wish it did, and I'd probably do some better jobs in some things, but 
that's what my life's all about, making do with what I have and not complaining about what I don't have. Okay, here we go. Now this is going to be very interesting as far as a cross. It's going to be um, more of the Celtic type cross, but it'll do. I flatten it all the way around. Now here's the fun part. Pull the cross. Got it there. Oh, come on. Got it there. Got it there. Got it there. And that's your cross. You say, what? Okay, let me show you. Pull that part out. Needs a little bit more nipping on this side. I think I'm going to do that with, and it's probably going to be bigger than it needs to be, but I'm going to try to do it with it. There we go. See where it's going so far? Yeah, you could have used the wire cutters too instead of what I did with the scissors. I'm going to try to do that. But we'll see. I got to do another nip on this side too. Great way to make a sword too, by the way. There we go. My tweezers need cleaning because it's gotten some contamination going on there. Stay. Like it understands English, right? There we go. Another little nip here. Ah, what I do with it? This will work. Just a good punte to hold on to it. Now the back, the bottom end, same idea. Press that like I did, and then I flatten it a little more. There we go. Just remember, you have to come up with your own ways of doing things, but this is just one way. And this is also a way that you can make stars. You put more cut sections into it. And you've got a star. In other words, if you put uh, five cross sections going on. So I'll have a star and not just a uh, cross. Put a bill here on the top. And again, this is simple and it was just to uh, let you guys see what you can do fairly quickly without too much problems. Okay.
Yeah, I could do a better job. But it was just something. Okay. Second way to do a cross. Most people would probably think of a cross like this. And they work out really well, too. Matter of fact, let's do that. In this piece of glass, in the center of this glass, is Illuminati. I was going to make some miniature mushroom marbles and stuff out of it, which is pretty cool if you think. But in the meantime, I'm going to make a cross out of some of it. Which will be pretty interesting to say the least. In other words, not only is it going to look like a simple cross, but once you light it up with a black light, it'll shine. Now with this, I'm going to go about uh, a little on over a quarter. And touch and pull out. And you got to remember, you're not trying to heat up the whole thing. You're only trying to heat up where you're melting the glass to it. Okay. Same idea. You're heating up just that edge. You're touching it too. And pulling it out. Simple and effective. I will show you pictures of this, and I might even take a picture and put it on the uh, the cover. I mean, the cover cover page for this uh, as just this cross, which will be pretty cool, I think. So. Let's see how that goes. I'll do a bail here. Simple bail. And now just and make sure that you you're fusing the glass together and not just sticking it together because that is where it's going to break apart quickly if it's not fused. And there we go. I wish I had the flashlight out here. I, I, I'd show you the, the picture of it now, but I don't. So, oh well. Let's go ahead and uh, deal with that. And you got two different types of crosses. With that, folks, I'm going to call it quits for the evening. Um, thank you for being there. Remember, click like, click subscribe. And as always, carpe vitro. Enjoy your day.